Rose. 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 Oh my God. Rose. 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 Oh God. My baby. God, not my baby. Not her too. Affliction shall not rise the second time. Not another episode. She's all that I have. I can't lose her. She's my everything. She's my princess. My life, my world. God, please. Not my rose. Yes, okay. Just make sure everything is in order. Dad! I'll be out in a few minutes. Dad, we need to talk about the family vacation like we agreed. Yes, I said a few minutes. Dad, you promised. You said we are going to talk about it this morning before you leave for work. I'm always bored in this house all by myself. Okay, I'll, I'll call you. Dad! <sighs> okay, I'll, uh, I'll call you. I'll call you. Thank you. All right. This guy is crazy. <sighs> Mom, dad is at it again. What is it this time? He won't talk about the vacation like he promised. Oh, the vacation? Yes, the vacation. Family vacation. We need to spend time as a family, not work, work, work all the goddamn time. Ish! Watch your language, young lady. That work you so much resent puts food on your table. And pays your way through a prestigious school. But also fund the vacation you're so much restless about. What is wrong with trying to spend time, quality time with mom's family? I just want yes. Deborah, and us. No, listen, 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 listen. Oh my goodness, I do not have your time. I have a meeting in less than an hour. Tell your daddy I've left. As always, you never have time for me. Both of you don't have time for me and my need. You treat me like I'm a child. I am 23 years old and I still beg for my parents' attention. I hate it here. I hate it here. Maybe you should be grateful for what you have. Oh, Debra. Debra. Is everything okay? Because Ruth seems more weak than usual. What did the test say? It is not um, anything medically impossible for us to treat. The result is out. Her kidneys are failing. What? Hey. But not to bother. It's not something we cannot treat. She needs a kidney transplant immediately. So I need to carry a test on you to see if I have a match. And this has to be done immediately so that the case will not escalate. I am ready. Can we do it now? 
<laughs> yes, but there are some things need to be put in place first. And her mother, I've not seen her. I need to see if she is also a match too. <sighs> oh, she's not in the picture? Yes, she died four years ago. <sighs> Sorry about that. It's okay, doctor. Please, why can't we carry on the test on me? Um, as soon as the conditions are met, okay. that will be done. Sure. Meanwhile, we come to my office. I need to discuss some things with you. Okay, Come. Mom. What? You're not coming back? Dad too? Why? Work emergency. Wait a minute, you're leaving town again? Just like that? It's okay, no, no, it's fine, don't explain, it's fine. I understand, I'll be fine. I said fine. I guess the family vacation just flew out of the window again. Thankfully, very much. We need to prepare her for the transplant immediately. I have a specialist on a standby already. But not until I come up with the money for the surgery. Yes, and I hope you understand why it is so, Mr. Andrew. The thing is, driving people around is not that lucrative to fund something like this. I understand, but there is nothing I can do about it at the moment. It is what it is. I have other patients to attend to, so if you don't mind, you'll excuse me. Okay, uh, let me just see rules. All right, thank you. Okay. Deborah, I'm talking to you, Davy. Davy, <sighs> I 
Dad. Hey, Princess. When are we going home? Soon. Very soon. I don't like you here. Me neither. How are you feeling? I'm tired. It's okay. You'll be fine. Daddy's here for you. And Daddy loves you. I love you too, Daddy. That's my girl. Hey, Mom. Hey, does it? Hi, Mom. Where are you coming from? Do I ask you where you're coming from each time you leave home and return two days later? Oops. Sorry. Where is your husband? Hmm? Or do we have to wait one more week to see him again? Oh, shut up. Come back here, my Mom. friend. Mom! Please, I don't have time for this. Please, not now. No, Debbie! Debbie! Look at this rat! Not in my house! Debbie! Are you the only one I'm talking to? Not tonight, Mom. Please. How dare you distress pet me like that? Have you gone crazy? I'm talking to you, young lady. Is this how I raised you? <laughs> raised me? <laughs> how you raised me? At every point in my life, I always had a nanny to take care of me up until I was 17. So please, mom, remind me again how you raised me. Mind the way you speak to me. It's not as if I was roaming round the street endlessly. No! No! The luxury which you enjoy today, your father and I, trying day and night to secure all this for you. I never asked for any of this. Hmm. All I wanted was for you and dad to be around. But no, you're way too selfish to grant me your presence as a mother. I will not allow you to disrespect me like this in my house. You never had time for me, Mom. You still never do. It's always work or something else. From a boarding school to a private university, always shipping me off like I'm a nuisance, constantly begging for my parents' attention like a roadside beggar, Mom. Always. Stop acting like a child. You are no longer one. Throwing tantrums like a reconcentrant child. Mm -mm. It doesn't make any sense. You and dad never listen. I'm your child. What do I have to do to get your attention? I got married to your father at your age. How old are you? I got married even earlier. I got married at the age of 17. And at 20, I had you, drama queen. At 23, I was in Fortier University studying my first degree. Responsibility. That is all you lack. Responsibility. When I was your age, I never expected my mom to babysit me. So grow up. Well, I guess I didn't have a mother who married me up when I was underage. What is that supposed to mean? You know what? It's fine. Forget about it. Hmm. I will not bother you anymore. As from now on, I will live my life the way I please. Fine. I will do whatever I want and you and dad will not stop me. All right. Suit yourself. Okay. Hi, what's up? 
Are you in the mood to party tonight? Great. I'll see you soon. Joy to me, something within me skips when you call me daddy. Oh, sweetheart. <sighs> sweetheart, how was your day? Very good. And how was yours? <sighs> Not so good. Where's Debbie? She's upstairs, being dramatic as usual. Maybe she wants to, to give her what she wants. Oh, really? Are you willing to give her yourself? Your time and attention. How about that? <laughs> Should I? If I've got into that, should I? Debbie? Who? Oh. Uh, stop right here, young woman. Where in God's name are you going dressed like a whore? Yes. Your mother is talking to you. Hanging out with my friends. Dressed like this? Like you care. Do not talk to me in such tone, young lady. Oh, I'll speak to you in whatever tone I please. This is me growing up. Are you mad? It's okay. Oh, that's right, Dad. Control your wife. Because she seems to be off her meds lately. Jesus. How? Don't you ever talk to my wife like that? She's gone crazy. So why didn't you stop her? I do not go to a battle that I cannot win. I beg your pardon. Don't you think that your parenting instincts are coming rather too late? Look, he's talking. The man who sleeps in his house once a week? Because I have to work. What kind of work is that? Walk from one hotel to another? <laughs> or from one hall to another? Oh, since you're back from work, you must be tired. Do you need massage? Sweetie, now listen. This is not about me or you. It's about our daughter. You are her mother. It is your job to raise her right. Stop looking for who to blame and accept the fact that you have failed as a mother. I have not failed. You have failed, Wesley. Walk, 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 indeed. Uh, doctor, this is all I could come up with. Is there any chance that you can start with the procedure so that I can go out and hustle for more? Or better still, get a loan. I'm sorry, Mr. Andrew. My daughter explained everything to you. Look, I understand your predicament. But I also want you to understand that my hands are tied on this. Look, the hospital has procedures on how these things are done. And they must be followed. Like, there is nothing I can do about it. I'm sorry. It is very difficult to understand in this position. Doctor, I just want my daughter to be well. She's too young for all this pain and suffering. I understand. And I'm sorry. I just wish you could try some more. <sighs> I can't believe I passed out last night at the club. Yes. Ah, Annabelle checked me in at this hospital. And my mom has been calling me all day. I'm not picking her calls anyways. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Hello. Hi. Thank you for treating me. You're welcome. So how are you? I'm a lot better now. When you go home, I'm sure to take your drugs as prescribed and if possible... Stay out of drugs. I know. It was just one time anyway. <laughs> Listen, 
I'm a 23-year-old girl who is going through an early life crisis. It's not like I do it all the time, so don't judge me. Please, thank you. I see. Just be careful. That's all I'm saying. Thank Would you want a cab home? Definitely. All right, fine then. Uh, Mr. Andrew. Uh, doctor, can you drive her home? Okay. She needs a cab. Okay. All right, so take care, okay? Okay, sir. All right. Thank you. Yep. I'll, I'll be back. Excuse me. Please, are, are you ready? Okay. Are you okay? Are you sure? Yeah. The party was supposed to end earlier than now. I am sure the party ended earlier. I look like a whore, right? My mom was right. You look beautiful. <laughs> so, do you work at the hospital? No, I am actually attending to someone. Oh, um, friends, family. My daughter. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you. It's okay. <laughs> But I don't see any ring on your finger. <laughs> um, single dad. <laughs> what a trend. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't judge. I'm sorry. I'm sure you're a great dad. You look like one. Well, I guess we should ask Rose. Rose? That's a beautiful name. Thank you. How old is she? Nine. Oh. Yeah, her kidney is failing. I'm so sorry. Ah, it's okay, it's fine. Um, she'll be fine. <laughs> the good thing is I'm a match. <laughs> ah, what a relief. Yeah. <sighs> I'm sorry. Thank you. We're here, so how much? Two thousand. Okay. Ah, I'm sorry, I, this this is too much. <laughs> Buy Rose some flowers. Tell her an angel in Nigeria got it for her. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. God bless you. Bye. Hi. Hey. Daytime. Why are you at home? Don't you have any meetings, work, or seminars to attend to? Hold on. What is happening? Oh, wait a minute. Has the trumpet been blown? Are we left alone on earth? Talk to me. What is happening? What? What? Please, not now. I'm not in the mood. What in God's name have you turned yourself into? <laughs> the daughter you raised. <laughs> what am I saying? The daughter you never raised. Enough! Enough of your attention seeking games, young lady. It is enough. You want to go on vacation. You want some family bonding time, right? I bet you you cannot get it if you keep acting like a spoiled brat. You're wrong, Mom. I thought I needed some family time. But now I know what I need is to stay away from both of you. And that's exactly what I'm doing.
have it. Go get yourself some new clothes, handbags, shoes. Go see a movie. Just have a good time. Don't look at me like that. I'm just being a caring mom. Fine. You can leave my room now. I beg your pardon? Oh, wait. Or were you expecting a thank you? After all, you're just being a caring mother, right? Unbelievable. This world is coming to an end. I'm sorry for, for keeping you waiting. I, I had a patient who needed my attention very urgently. It's fine. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good to see you again. <laughs> So, what can I do for you? Oh, I would like to make a donation to your hospital. Wow. That's interesting. I'm very thoughtful of you. A specific patient, actually. And who may that be? Rose. The kid with the um, kidney failure. Oh, you don't think you should be doing this to the father directly? No, no, no. I, I want this to be an anonymous donation, please. <sighs> well, um... She was discharged this morning and the father has taken her home. Why? I thought she needed to be in the hospital. Well, what she needs is a kidney transplant. But her father was not able to raise the money, so... Okay, then give, give him this. This will go a long way, right? I mean, you are her doctor. You should be able to help. Thank you. Hey, baby. How are you? I'm fine. I bought you something really delicious. Daddy, will I die? Hey. What do you know about dying? Little children don't die. But I'm sick. It's just a little illness. You're going to be fine, baby. You promise? I promise. Pinky swear. Pinky swear. I forgot your spoon. Let me go get it. Yeah? Okay. I bought you delicious rice and plantain. I know you like plantain. Yes. You're gonna eat for daddy? Yes. Good girl, let me get you a spoon, okay? Alright, I'll be right back. actually go along with doctor. Sure, too. <sighs> Look, Mr. Mr. Andrew, I understand what you're going through, but I want you to be sure of something. Everything will be all right. I am scared. I, I don't want to lose my daughter. She, She's all I have. Nothing will happen to Rose. She'll be fine. Doctor, I, I need money. I need to save my daughter's life. I, I'm already tired and I feel so helpless.
and know angels live in heaven but heaven knows I need you here a little longer you bring most joy to me something within me skips when you call me daddy it breaks my heart to hear you cry to hear you cry it brings tears to my eyes to see you die so i promise you i'll do just anything just yeah. anything yeah. even if i have to go to the end of This little angel, that is little girl, is never my desire never to see you. Annabelle. Sure. We are hitting the club tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'll just leave early and meet you up at your house. How about that? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You're crazy. Get out. <laughs> I know. And just leave in heaven. But heaven knows I need you here a little longer. You bring most joy to me. Something within me skips when you call me daddy. It breaks my heart to hear you cry. To hear you cry. It brings tears to my eyes to see you die. So I promise you, I'll do just anything, just yeah. anything, yeah. Even if I have to go to the end of the earth. Daddy's little angel, daddy's little girl. It's never my desire, never my desire to see you broke. No. You're worth more than diamonds. You're worth more than pearls. It is my heart's desire to see you blossom like a rose. I swim across the ocean. I walk through the fire for you. Cause angel, if I lose you, then nothing else is worth the fight, no, 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 daddy's little angel, my sweet little girl, it's never my desire to see you broken, you're worth more than diamonds, you're worth more than pearls, it is my heart's desire to see you blossom that is like the little girl that is little angel oh, that is little girl it's never my desire oh, no. to see you broken you're worth more than diamonds you're worth more than pearls yeah. it is my heart's desire to see you blossom like a rose like Hey. Hello. What are you doing here? The doctor told me. Oh, damn it. It was supposed to be an anonymous donation. I know. I can be very persuasive sometimes. Ugh. How long have you been hanging around here? All day? I, I wanted to see you. What about Rose? Who is looking after her? My neighbor. She helps sometimes. This is really not necessary. 
Well, why didn't you knock? I'm sure the gates man would have opened the gates for you. I didn't know if I should. I just came to thank you. Okay, so you can start the treatment, right? Now that you have some money. Uh, um, what is it? I still have to save some more for it. How much? Oh, don't don't bother. It's it's okay. It's fine. Tell me, I can help. Mr. Andrew. Well, my name is Andrew. Okay, Mr. Andrew. I'm Debbie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So please, can you tell me how much now? Um, it's... it's, it's seven... Seven point five million naira. Whoa. That's a whole lot. Yeah. Look, I just came to say thank you. And that I'm very grateful for all that you've done for me. And may God richly bless you. Thank you, okay? Have a nice day. You're here. Are you all right? Davy! I'm talking to you. I need money. If I ask you, would you give me? But I just gave you money yesterday. I need more. Oh, no. If you ask me, I would not give you. 7.5. What? 7.5 million naira, mom. <laughs> My daughter is not only a drama queen, she's now a criminal. She wants to go and break the bank. <laughs> mom, um, take it from my trust fund. My savings, all my inheritance. I don't care how you get it. I just need 7.5 million naira and I need it now. What trouble have you gotten yourself into? I'm not in any kind of trouble, Mom. Oh, really? Then you do not need money. All you need is rehabilitation. That's all. You are on drugs. <gasps> oh, my goodness. You are really on drugs. <laughs> Baby. Father, Lord, you are on drugs. You are. Stop it, Mom. You're going to give yourself a heart attack for no good reason. Baby. You know what? Forget it. It's obvious you're not going to help me soon. Let me just save us this drama. I will help you. I will call a family doctor. That's all you need. Okay? I'm going to schedule an appointment with him. That's all. And I'll be there. I'll be there for you. Trust me. Trust me. Now, you listen to me. If you are on drugs, you better stop. You are going to tarnish this family image. You are. No, I'm enough. Why do you have to make everything about you? Dad comes home late. He's cheating on you. I hang out with my friends. I'm embarrassing you. Why do you make everything about you? Why? Why? What? Did I step into a minefield? The worst thing that ever happened to me was to be born into this family. I hate being here. I hate being your daughter. I hate it here. What did you do this time? Is it what I did or what did she do this time? <gasps> She needs 7.5 million Asian drugs. Okay. We'll handle it.
Oh. Yeah. There you go, baby. Daddy. Yes, baby. Will you sing me a lullaby? Of course. Daddy always sings for you. Across the ocean, I walk through the fire for you. Cause angel, if I lose you, then nothing else is worth the fight. No, 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 no. Daddy's little angel, my sweet little girl. It's never my desire to see you broken. You're worth more than diamonds. You're worth more than pearls. It is my heart's desire to see you blossom. That is the little girl. That is the little angel. Oh, that is the little girl. It's never my desire oh, no. to see you broken. <laughs> You're worth more than diamonds. You're worth more than pearls. Yeah. I can only give you his phone number, so I can put a call across to him. I will not release the details of his uh, home address or personal information to you. It's okay, I understand. Phone number will do. Finally. So, how have you been? Fine, thank you. Okay. Uh, we have this fight here again. Okay. There we go. Um, the number is uh, 0803761925. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Have a nice day. You too. Shit, so you'll be strong for daddy, okay? Hmm? I'm full. You're full? Mm. You have to finish this food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's okay, two more. Just two more. Okay? Oh. Hello? Oh, hi, Debbie. Oh, 
Okay, uh, sh should I come to the house? Okay, uh, I'll be there shortly. Okay, bye bye. Uh, take hmm? two more, please. Uh. Please. Hmm? Take one for me and one for Teddy Bear. Uh. Okay? Good girl. I'm so sorry for keeping you waiting. It's okay. So, uh, wh where are we going? Are we going to the house? Nope, we are going to your house. Excuse me? Yes, I've just been kidnapped. <laughs> uh, wait, I, I don't understand. You just kidnapped me. What? <laughs> I mean, this would be the easiest kidnap in the history of kidnapping, right? I mean, your hostage is not going to give you any trouble. I will not try to run. All you need to do is call my dad's number and demand for 7.5 million Naira. You know, Chris? Yes. I am not doing it. Come on. My parents are rich. They have the money to spare. You are not going to talk me into doing something stupid. Listen to me, Andrew. What is that to listen to? Huh? What is wrong with you? What kind of a girl plans to steal from her parents? I'm not stealing from my parents. I'm trying to help you. By sending me to jail? Have you even thought about the consequences of what you're suggesting? Rose, I will go to jail and leave her all by herself. My dad is not going to call the police. And then come out here. <laughs> I'm serious. Young lady, or, or, or whatever your name is, I said I know Godua. Mm. Yes. Mm. Okay, then I'm not leaving. What? Where are you going? Huh? What? What? Where are you going to go? Huh? Where do you think you're going to? Look, Mr. Man, after 72 hours, this becomes a missing person's case. So it's either you call my dad now and demand for ransom, or they'll hunt you down and arrest you for kidnapping me. Madam, I am not stopping you from leaving. I am stopping myself from leaving. Hey! Um, 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 uh, 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 I hope you know that this is the only job I do. I have to be out there, gathering money for my daughter's transplant. Mr. Andrew, even if you sell this car and drive for the whole year, you and I know that you can't raise 7.5 million for your daughter's transplant. not consign me. Let me drive this car to the time stop. I know go do am. Mm. You don't hear me? What, what, what's wrong with you? Hey, oh, open this door. Open this door. Yeah, you all are doing... If I enter this guy, I'll kill you! Open this door! Oh, oh, what is he doing? Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh, what, what, what's wrong with you? Huh? Stop doing that! Open this door! Open this door! Calm down! Uh, calm down for what? Listen, if you don't calm down, I'll start this car and leave and you'll not see me again! Hey, 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 hey! Stop, stop! Put, put, put it up! Where are you going? Stop this here! Open this door! I don't have to calm down now! Hey. Oh God! I, I, I'll put it, put, 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 put it off. Move! Come, who's, who's are you to me? Who, who's are you? What are we doing here? I want to get some clothes. You don't expect me to be walking around your house naked, do you? I am not going. You want to sit in the car? Because I'm going with the keys.
I don't, I don't understand. I want to get something straight here. Who's kidnapping who? You kidnapped me. It doesn't look like it. What is, what is wrong with you? Your home address. I am not taking you to my house. Are we going to keep driving around town the whole day? Hey, come over right now. now. Uh, you're causing traffic. Can we just go? Tell me your home address. I am not taking you to my home. Okay. <sighs> Let me know when you're ready to tell me. I... <sighs> Debbie, okay, let's drive. Oh, come around now. Hey! Come over there! Yeah. Debbie! Can we just go drive? Oh, really? We can go now? Just drive, please. Hmm. Wow. Let it change your heart. Friends, you don't have that numbers, do you? Oleka. How am I supposed to have all their numbers? Hmm. I think we should call the police. No. What do you mean by no? No one is calling the police. My daughter is missing, Martin. I'm sure she's fine. She must be having fun somewhere. Oh, please. This is no time for jokes. It's our daughter that I'm talking about here. My only child. Please. Listen, you have to put this, your selfish behavior aside. Do us a favor. Go and get our child back. Please. Why are you ignoring me? This feels like a hostage situation. You are not my hostage. Then what am I? Your girlfriend? <laughs> I'm just playing with you. Loosen up. You're so uptight. <sighs> the place isn't bad. Where's Rose? She's sleeping. You left her all by herself? Someone was watching her. Can I see her? She is sleeping. Can I kiss her goodnight? What do you think this is? A vacation? I'm just trying to help. You think this is a joke? Is my daughter's illness a joke to you? Look, the world does not revolve around you. You don't know what it feels like to be me or have an idea of what I'm going through right now. I need you to leave my house first thing tomorrow morning. And I don't want to ever see your face again. I don't need your help. He doesn't care about me. What a selfish man. He rather watch his daughter die than go some balls. 
I can hear you. I think you might need this. Debbie. Debbie! Yeah? You were saying? Oh, oh. I don't need to cover myself. I'm hot. And the mosquitoes are feasting on me. It is going to prevent the mosquitoes from feasting, don't you think? I guess. Andrew, wait. I'm sorry. I don't want us to fight. It's my first night here. And it will be your only night. Good night. And... Come with me. Angels live in heaven, but heaven knows I need you here a little longer. You bring most joy to me. Something we will call the police. I need my daughter found, Martin. Nika, you are aware of my political ambition. The last thing I need is having my name on all the pages of newspapers for all the wrong reasons. My daughter being kidnapped is a wrong reason? Huh. Now, sweetie, let's look at it this way. What if she's not kidnapped? What if your daughter is hung up somewhere with a boy 
in a cheap motel, smelling of alcohol and hard drugs. Is that what you think of our own daughter? It is obvious you have no idea of what your daughter has become. Where was the last time? Have you been to her room lately? Okay, uh, wait. Uh, I forgot. You're too busy to look after your own daughter. You see, my little girl, our little girl, is no longer little. We watched her outgrow us right in front of our eyes. I can't tame her now. Neither can you. It's too late. She's now a full-grown dragon. Is that all you have to say? Just live in heaven, but heaven knows I need you here a little longer. You bring much joy to me, something within me skips when you call me daddy. It breaks my heart to hear you cry. I'll do just anything, just yeah. anything, yeah. even if I have to go to the end of the earth. That is little angel, that is little girl, it's never my desire never to die. see you broken. You're worth more than diamonds, you're worth more than is my heart's desire to see you blossom like a rose. I swim across the ocean, I walk through the fire for you. Cause angel, if I lose you, then nothing else is worth the fire. I'm sorry, I was, I was just... Daddy. Hey. 
Hey, baby. Martin, since yesterday her phone has been off, do you still think this has nothing to do with our daughter being kidnapped? Sure. Don't you think if she was kidnapped, they would have called by now, demanding for ransom? Martin. So, you see, I think that is just seeking attention as usual. She will come back home when she's tired. Are you sure? Trust me. I'm just worried. Where are you going to? I am going to work. <laughs> I thought we had a game plan. Just call them. Call me when you're ready to leave or better still call a cab. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to stay right here until you call my parents and demand for a ransom. Andrew. <laughs> What's the plan? Is that a yes? Okay, sit. <laughs> sit down. <laughs> okay. Where's your phone? I suppose I'm speaking to Martins. Yeah, Chief Martins here. Yeah. Dad, please help me! Help! Help me! Is that my daughter screaming? Uh, yeah, that is your daughter. I'm calling to let you know that your, your daughter has been there. Uh, Who are you and what do you want? Kidnapped. Uh, I, you, you, that, uh, I mean, your. Sir, I'll call you back. Hello? 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 I can't do this. Really? I, I can't do this. I can't do this. You, you have to go back home. He's calling back. What, what do I do? Don't answer that. What is wrong with you? Is this your first kidnap? Okay, fine. Don't watch it on TV. Have you been living under the rock or something? I think you should go back to the house. I can't. Why? I don't want to be part of this anymore. You should go back to your parents. I can't go home. Why? Because it's too late. My dad already believes I've been kidnapped. We just have to make good use of the situation. <sighs> um, okay, okay. 
Here's what we're going to do. We will lay low for now and call him a day after, okay? Wait. What if he calls the police? Yeah. Oh. You have to call him back. You have to tell him not to call the police. I think you should do that. I'm not calling anybody. Excuse you? I can't call him. I'm the one being held hostage here. You're supposed to do the negotiation while I do the screaming. Ah. Rose. Yes. Rose. She's the reason you're doing all this. Isn't she worth the risk? And what do you stand to gain? Nothing. Mm. Just call him back. See, if police comes to my house, they'll arrest you, not me. I told you. I told you it was a kidnap. They took our daughter. Only God in heaven knows what they must have done to her. You know how her body is? What are we going to do now? You need to talk to me. What are we going to do? We have to go to the police. We can't. What do you mean we can't? They said we shouldn't involve the police. Otherwise, they will harm our daughter. <sighs> so what are they asking for? How much? Oh, stop all this out of it, please. Please. I need you to think and think fast. How much are they asking for? They should be asking for something, yes? Let's give them anything. Let's give them this house. Let's give them our cars, please. They're not asking for anything. Really? Strange, isn't it? You know this is going to put me into trouble, right? I have never, ever committed any crime, not even felony. Calm down. This is not big a deal. Holding the hostage? Shh. You're going to wake the child. Okay. Tell me about your parents. Your father. Is he the type that will get angry and involve the police nonetheless, or he's the type that will do anything just to have his daughter back home? No, they are both. I'm sure my dad is somewhere practically drinking and not minding a bit that I've been kidnapped. But he'll pay the money. That I'm sure of. I, I don't understand. If you're not that important to your dad, why would he pay 7.5 million just to get you back home? Nine million. Excuse me? Nine million naira. You're completely insane. That's what you're going to ask for ransom. Why would I ask for nine million naira? Because I told my mom. I may have mentioned to her that I needed 7.5 million naira. So if you mentioned the exact 7.5 million, she would know we're going to be busted. So wait, you, you, you told your mom what? That I needed 7.5 million. Okay. What else do I need to know about you apart from the fact that you were spawn brat, immature, and very, very annoying? I just want to help. Or get me into trouble. You know what? I don't want to be part of this anymore. I think you should go home. Call my parents. No. They're expecting you. I home. said you should go home. Please. We have two options here. It's either they pay the money or they don't. And there's no harm in trying. You're not listening to me. I said you should go home. For rules.
Yes, hello. Okay, let's go straight to the point. Look, I want to speak with my daughter first. Yes. Huh? You heard me, young man. You want money, right? She will get money. But I have to be sure that my daughter is with you and she's all right. Ah. Okay, talk to her. Dad, Dad, please help me. Dad, please, please. Get me out of this place. I beg you, please, Dad, please. Please, please, please. How oh, dare you be, Davey, Davey? Oh, are you okay? Mom, 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 please, 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 get me out of here. You won't come out of there, I promise. I promise. Give him whatever he wants. I want to come home. I'm so sorry for everything. Please, Mom. Okay, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Please. So, go on, young man. How much do you want? So, um, nine million naira. <sighs> okay, uh, just tell me the place and time. You will get it in three days. Okay, thank you, sir. I I'll call you back, sir. Bye bye. That was so easy. He said in three days. Rose is going to get her transplant. Yes! What? Did I say anything wrong? She didn't buy it. What do you mean he didn't buy it? The whole conversation sounded like it was my dad that was asking for the ransom. You didn't sound confident enough. My dad is very smart. You put one and two together. Can you be positive for one? Stop being negative? Huh? What, 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 what do you mean he didn't buy it? It's the truth. It's the truth. Please, let me enjoy my five minutes of victory. Please, be positive. My dad is very smart. Isn't he? He... Give me a naira! Three days! Three days! See, if you're going to be happy, be happy for me. Think it's easy. Yeah. What was that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who did it. You do? A few days ago, Debbie came asking me for 7.5 million. I didn't know what it was for. Then I asked her if she was in some kind of trouble. What kind of trouble? I do not know. But I know they have my daughter. They took my daughter. Until the day Debbie was kidnapped. All she wanted from us was just attention. She wanted love from us. Martin, believe me, we failed her. We failed her woefully. We love her. As she knows that. I do not care if you do not want the police involved. All I want you to do for me is to bring my daughter home. That's all. <laughs> so she's is my daughter too. I'm her mother. Promise me. Promise me you will bring her. Hey. Hey. 
What's up? Come and sleep in my room. Oh, I mean, um, you go sleep in the room and I'll sleep in the couch. <laughs> I'm sorry if I made you think otherwise. It's okay. It's, it won't, it wouldn't be a bad idea, though. Hey. <laughs> I was just joking. <laughs> All right, let me have this. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Good night. Good night. Okay, that is in the living room. I will, I will get it for you, okay? Just, just stay. Be careful, don't move, okay? Okay. I'm coming. my daddy. <clears throat> Daddy's sleeping. I want my daddy. I know, but daddy's very tired. He hasn't had any good rest in a while. But I can sing you in your body. I'm a very good singer. You gotta get up. <laughs> I didn't mean literally, like you're supposed to be sleeping. Okay. Mm -hmm. You gotta get up and make a move. Cause the world will never see you until you do. No, they don't really care what you're going through. So you gotta show up, baby. Rose! Rose! We're here! Rose! Uh, Baby, Dad. you're awake. Are you okay? Yes, Daddy, I'm fine. See? She's fine. Daddy, we went to the store and we walked to the house. And it was fun, Shut right? Shut up. Uh, Baby, can you listen to Daddy? I want you to go inside and wait for me. I'll be with you soon, okay? Now go. Good girl. What were you thinking? 
thinking. <laughs> Which is that girl is sick. Her body is weak. Her organs are failing. Why do you have to stress a tiny little body? It's just. You want to kill her? Is that why you came into our lives? Who sent you? Hey, ask who sent you? Get out of my house. I can't. Why can't you? Where do I go? Home. Go home to your parents. Andrew, please. You know I can't go home. I am so done with you. You were just a sports rich girl without proper home training who does as he pleases. You don't care about the consequences of your actions. I don't want to be associated with you. You are a maniac! Enough! That's enough. I was only fixing breakfast because Rose is hungry. She was up all night. I didn't want to wake you because I thought you needed to rest. And yes, everything you said about me is true. I'm spoilt, irresponsible, and a maniac. But I love Rose. And I'll do. I wouldn't do anything to hurt her. So please, please, can you just set aside your ego and let me help her? Please. And if you don't mind, I would like to go back to the kitchen and continue fixing breakfast for her. Excuse me. Heaven knows I need you here a little longer. You bring most joy to me. Hey. You know eavesdropping on people's conversation is wrong. Now tell me, what do you have to say in your defense? I I'm sorry. Don't be mad at her. I asked her to make me breakfast. I am not mad. I was only worried. I like her. She's funny. Yeah, and a little crazy too. <laughs> Come here. You're supposed to be resting. Hmm? To see you broken, you're worth more than diamonds, you're worth more than pearls. Why are you this my heart is <laughs> Hey. Look, I am sorry. Debbie. Are you mad at me? I said I am sorry. You don't need to apologize. Let's just stick to the plan. Get your money and I'll be out of your lives for good. Oh, come on. You don't have to be mean. Isn't that what you want? I'll do whatever you want, okay? I want breakfast. Can I have some? Of course. You know you can smile. Mm. Or better still, laugh. <laughs> Fine. But do not ever scare me like that again. Understood? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Let's go. Let me dish you some. Thank you very Spend much. Try my delicacy. You like it. I can't so. wait. <laughs> it's just breakfast, you know. <laughs> What are you doing? Uh, 
claim. Where's your dad? I don't know. Okay. Andrew! Andrew! a minute ago. Are you going to walk? I have a couple of regions to attend. Walk? You still have time for walk? Sure, life is about negotiations. They state what they want, we give them what they want, and we get our daughter back. I won't. Put my life on hold, Father. Now, I would. Oh, Martin. How would you feel if Debbie gets to find out that you still have time for work? Why she's being held whole stage by some hoodlums? How? Yes, let's look at it this way. How is my daughter going to feel if her father tells her that? He doesn't have that million oh. to save her life from those woodlands. Martin. Martin, please. I'm not running away. Oh. Please, please, please. Have you seen my phone? No. I left it in the room and I can't find it. What phone are you talking about? Our phone. I mean, the contact phone. Oh. <laughs> Get a new SIM card. But I need a phone. Uh, um, okay. Use mine. It's my second one. Uh, thank you. Come here. Hello. I have a job for you. Hello, young man. Hello? How is my daughter? I will tell you how your daughter is faring when I want to. Now you listen to me carefully. Central Park, 3 p.m. tomorrow. If you know what's good for you, do not involve the police. 
I want you to drop that money by the slide in the middle of the park and walk away quietly. Okay. Hello? Drop the money there quietly and walk away. Don't try anything stupid, else your daughter will not get back to you in one piece. Uh, what about my daughter? Your daughter will get back to you in 15 minutes after I have retrieved the money. Why should I trust you? You don't have a choice, do you? How did he go? Don't worry. I have everything planned out. So where is she? If you have everything planned out, where is she? <laughs> I will bring her daughter home. We have to involve the police now. 
Thereupon is, I have everything under control. You have nothing under control, obviously. This is not a time for you to prove you are a hero, please. This is my daughter we are talking about here. It's been five days. I have not seen my child. Come on, this is the boy we are talking about. I miss her so much, please. That's okay. Hmm? It's not okay. It's not. Did you get the money? What happened? You set me up. What are you talking about? Somebody tried to kill me when I was going to get the money. I could have died today. You knew about this, didn't you? No, what, what are you saying? Your I father don't... tried to kill me. The plan was to eliminate me. Why? But my father, he said he was... Shut up! Daddy, Daddy. Baby, please go back inside. Daddy will be with you shortly, okay? What is that? Is that true? Do you know what? I don't know anything about this. Get out. No! Let go of me! Let me explain. Leave this house. Leave this house. Leave this house. Leave this house. No. Hey, leave my house. No, where are you taking me to? I'm taking you home and out of my life for good. I don't want to go home. What do you mean you don't want to go? You have to go. You have to go. I have the money now and Rose is going to get a transplant. All this game has to come to an end. Please. Okay, okay, can, can I say good goodbye oh, to oh, What is wrong with you? <laughs> what? Hey! Now you listen to me. I am not going to fall for those crocodile tears. I will not fall for them. You go home! No, I'm not going home. Hey! Oh. Oh. This is the first time a hostess does not want to go home after being freed. What, what is wrong with you? Maybe that's because home has never felt like home. Please, I want to live here with you, Rose. Can I stay here with you? Live here with me, bro, Gideon. You are going home. No, you... please don't. Okay, hold on. You will go home. No, Take a play. Just wait. Wait now. Don't be too comfortable, oh. You are going home. Uh, uh, hello? Uh, neighbor, good afternoon. Uh, please, are you home? I, I beg. Help me take care of my daughter. Eh? I'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you. Come, come back then. I am taking you to that bus stop for you to get a car no. that will take you home. No, let me just say goodbye to Rose. It's so fair. Please don't take me home. I want to go. It's so fair now. Yeah, leave this house. Stop. What do you mean stop? I see you're leaving this house. I have to stop. Ow, don't do that. Don't do what? I, don't, I can't go don't, home you, now. You are going home. It's too late. You will go home today. And Not only, I said you are going home today. Now you want to kill me or something. You will send the money. Come, hey, hey. Behave yourself. Behave yourself. I can't go home now. Andrew, stop. No! Ah, oh, you're hurting me! Really? Really? Is, is this necessary? Is this necessary? Put me down! Stop! Stop this! I can't even see! Let me go! Ah. Let me go! Oh. You're going home today! No! Eh? You're going home today! Hello? Yes? What? Rose? Come here, come here, come here. I don't know. Don't know. Rose. Rose. And the lady told me they took her. Where is my daughter? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? 
Tell me where they've taken my daughter! I swear, I don't know. This was a stupid idea. This was a stupid idea! You're nothing but bad luck! Now you listen to me. I want you to call your father and tell him to bring my daughter back! Why would my father take your daughter? Shut up! Do this! Shut up! Listen, my father isn't capable of hurting a little child. He's not that terrible. One more word from your mouth and I swear to you, I will rip your tongue out of your mouth! That's enough, Andrew! Stop talking to me like that! So ungrateful! I'm sick and tired of you always ranting like a baby. Go up to both! Like a baby, right? Andrew! Here, here! Tell your father I don't need his money! You should take his stupid daughter and bring my daughter back! Are you sure, Andrew? Think about this! This could save your daughter! What? No. No, no, no. So you played me? No! You played me after all! I was all a pawn in your game. You have gotten all the attention you need, right? That's not true. I really, I really wanted to help. You never wanted to help Rose and I. It was all a game to you. You <laughs> used my daughter and I! That's right. Stop! Look, if you don't call your father to be my daughter, I swear I'll kill you. I will kill you! I, I just, I really want Shut to up! I really wanted to Get help. Out. Please, no! Get out! No, listen to me! No! Get out! Please, I don't Get out! Want to... Get out! Get out! Fuck! Shit! Ralph! But heaven knows I need you here a little longer. You bring most joy to me. Something within me skips when you call me daddy. It breaks my heart to hear you cry. Let's see. Okay, let's go inside so I can sing you a lullaby. How's that? Okay, let's go. Come on. Good night, Daddy. Good night, baby. Come on. So. Tomorrow, huh? Yeah. Anxious? A little. Can I ask you something? Sure, go on. Why are you doing this? I get it. You want to help Rose, but why? Why I chose to lie to my parents? I guess I was just being myself. Constantly seeking for my parents' attention and love. They love you. I guess. You're just a spoiled little girl. <laughs> With a big heart. Thank you. Um, can I see? Sure. Um, I want you to know that you deserve all the love and care. You are God sent. Rose and I will forever be grateful for this. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll just go to bed. I'm sorry.
Huh? You don't sleep? You don't need to. Uh, huh. Sorry. How much, please? Two thousand. Yeah, the place is very far. You got to fuck with Okay, thank you. Uh, you, can, you can open the door. Please, can you help me? Okay, let me. You know, kidney and she needs a transplant. Please tell me where you kept her. Please, Dad, please. So you still managed this whole thing right? Of course I did. What? What for? For this, this life. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of being your daughter. I want out. The nine million. Were well, you going to leave the country or what? No. It's for the little girl's treatment. She needs 7.5 million naira for a kidney transplant. I was going to give it to them. You should be ashamed of yourself. Hmm? Trying to trick your parents. Ah! Unfortunately, they were not smart enough. But I asked nicely, Mom. I asked you, but you ignored me. What are you? Mother Teresa, what? No. I'm a human being with conscience. I just want to see a father and his daughter spend time together. Oh, do not make this all about your childhood. Oh, please help me or I'll kill myself. Stop this madness. It has always been about my childhood, Mom. There is a void in my heart that you can never fill up. Please, Mom. Oh, please. Stop. Stop this. If you, if you love me, please, please help me. Please. Stop this, enough! You've done more harm. You better stop this rubbish no. right now. Stop all this rubbish. No. Where is my daughter? Andrew. Stay out of this. Here. I was the one that kidnapped your daughter. Please. Let my daughter go. I beg of you. She needs me. She, she's only nine years and she's sick. Please, let my rose go, please. Martin. Hello. 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 Are you my daddy's friend? Yeah. Uh, who are you? I'm Rose. Oh, Rose. How are you? I'm sick, but my daddy said I'm going to be fine. Oh. Oh. Hello? Hello? I know my daughter, and I know how terrible she could be. Just that. If you people knew how experienced I was in dealing with criminal elements, you wouldn't have dared me. I mean, how could you be so stupid? Why would a young man like you 
take that kind of risk, I would have shot you at the field. And your daughter would have been harmed. I, I am so ashamed of myself. I wanted to save my daughter so bad, I stopped thinking. I'm sorry, Debbie. I'm sorry for using you. No. I'm sorry. It was my fault. I forced him into it. But why? Why would you do a thing like that? She didn't do anything. I am much older and I should have known better. I am truly sorry for all the stress I put you through. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought I've lost you. Hmm? Don't you ever do that again. Hmm? I love you. You are my baby. And you will always be my baby. Daddy. Rose. so much. Thank you. Thank you. I will give you the sum for five million. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. But there are conditions attached to it. You will have to Transfer to the states for for the studies, and of course, forget about this young man. No, I don't want to stay away from any of you. You have to. No. There are so many children out there without parents that are doing fine. Contentment is not about how much you have but how grateful you are for the little that you have. Oh. But I love him. I'm falling in love with him. You have a choice to choose between the two of them. Mom. You don't have to choose either of us. We will just leave it. All of this will be over. Come on, Rose. Let's go. Rose! Cool. I love you, okay? Always remember that. Yeah. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Come on, baby. Please. Please. No. Come. Come. In life, you must learn to win and lose some. It is true that we don't meet people by accident. They are meant to cross our path for a reason. Sometimes the forever is not the person, but what we gain from them and the memories they leave behind. I know 
angels leave in heaven But heaven knows I need you here a little longer You bring most joy to me Something within me skips when you call me daddy It breaks my heart to hear you cry It brings tears to my eyes to see you dying So I promise you I'll do just anything Just yeah. anything, yeah. Even if I have to go to the end of the Daddy's little angel, daddy's little girl It's never my desire to see you broke no. You're worth more than diamonds, you're worth more than pearls It is my heart's desire to see you blossom like a rose I swim across the ocean I walk through the fire for you Cause angel if I lose you Then nothing else is worth the fight No, 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 no Daddy's little angel My sweet little girl It's never my desire To see you 